San Diego's iconic craft brewery, Ballast Point, officially reopened its tasting rooms this week. The brewery just got back under local ownership after nearly five years under an international brand. 10 News reporter John Horn explains why the new owners had to overcome a massive threat days after they took control. This was the scene outside Ballast Point's Miramar Brewery on March 2nd. Employees hoisted this mast to celebrate that San Diego's beloved beer maker was back under local control. For two months straight, we were going to drive around San Diego saying Ballast Point is back to San Diego. But CEO Brendan Waters had to keep that newly wrapped bus in park. That's because two days after Waters and his business partner closed on Ballast Point, Governor Newsom declared a state of emergency because of the coronavirus. So basically a week after we were we were closing up operations. That is the exact opposite of the vision Waters had for returning the brewery back to glory. In 2015, beverage giant Constellation Brands bought Ballast Point for a whopping one billion dollars. Waters says the brewery, which started here in 1996, lost a lot of its local charm. His company, Kings and Convicts, bought it for an undisclosed amount. I am unable to say anything other than I don't have a billion dollars. When the outbreak hit, Ballast Point immediately shifted its resources to its distribution arm, but revenue was still down around 60%. Now that restrictions are being lifted, Ballast Point has reopened its Little Italy and Miramar tap rooms with changes like socially distant tables and smartphone ordering. Over time, I think it will evolve. And then ultimately, the hope is that we get back to a normal sort of business. Water says that timeline is unknown, but he'll work to make the best of this situation. John Horn, 10 News. Waters says the brewery has been able to recall most of Ballast Point's 550 employees. He says the brewery should be able to withstand this lower capacity, at least in the short term.